Hi there, I'm Claire McQuillan and I am a forager and foraging guide in Belfast and today as part of the Mela I'm going to show you how you can identify different kinds of wild ingredients that you can use to make tea in your own home. As we walk around the park we'll look at different types of fruit, flowers and trees that you can find in your own park and we'll talk about their properties and flavours. So let's go! So to make the Ivan Chai you take the leaves, crush them up, leave them to oxidise overnight or even two nights and then dry them and use them as a tea. Uh, they have a really wonderful kind of sweet flavour, really really beautiful, um, easy to make. These are stinging nettles and these are definitely a forager's classic. Uh, one of the first things you learn to pick when you're a forager. Um, nettles are an excellent source of vitamin A and vitamin C and they make an excellent tea. When you're picking them, you really want to use a pair of gloves. I'm being a little bit risky here picking them with my fingers, but I am uh, well practiced in collecting nettles without gloves. And you want to pick them without seeds. So you can see on this plant, there are no seeds growing on here. These are the ones that you want. You can use these fresh, just pick them as they are. The top four leaves are the best ones to pick. They have the best nutrition and the best flavor. And just infuse them in hot water as they are, or you can dry them and store them for a long time and use them for later. In the springtime, I like to collect these leaves. That's the best time to collect them for tea. So just take the branch and strip them off. And you can use these fresh or dry them. And they have a very, very similar flavor to green tea. Um, really, really fresh and astringent flavor. Um, really good for you. This is used as a heart tonic. So it might be good for somebody who has um, heart problems. And also is just really, really abundant and delicious. And you'll find this everywhere. This is a plant that likes to grow in an urban space, which is maybe not as exotic as picking uh, leaves or fruits, um, but it's very, very abundant in places where it doesn't have much competition, such as along these verges. This is pineapple weed, and this can be used as a straight swap for chamomile, and it smells very, very similar. Um, it's named pineapple weed also alludes to the fact that it tastes very slightly like pineapple when you make it into a cordial, um, but also makes an excellent tea. Again, just simply dry this, and you can mix this with other things and you get an incredible tropical flavor. So these will impart an incredible lemony citrus flavor to your tea. Uh, you can use these fresh, but they're definitely best used dried. So take them home, pop them into a very low oven and uh, crush them up and use them in tea and it will give you a properly lemony fruity flavor, really amazing. So my basket's nearly full with everything we need and we're gonna head back now to the kitchen and I'll show you how to use it. So when we've gathered all our things for tea, um, we can start drying. So I'm going to show you how to do this really, really simply. So I have a dehydrator because um, I do lots of drying of tea items and other wild ingredients, but you certainly don't need a dehydrator to do this. So easiest way, get yourself a sheet of greaseproof or wax paper, put it on a rack just like this so there's a little bit of space for the airflow and then lay things out in a single layer. So this is our fireweed, so to dry it really simply and green, just pick it and lay it out. So we can do it with a fireweed, with our nettles, with our rowan berries, and with our pineapple weed. And what you can do to do a quick process is pop this into your very low oven, something around 30 or 40 degrees, and leave them there for a few hours, keep a good eye on them, so uh, to make sure that they're not getting too crispy. Um, or even simpler, find yourself a nice dry, warm place in your house and leave these out to dry just naturally and they'll dry in about 24 hours, 48 hours. Once they're dry, pop them into a jar just like this and that'll keep them for a good few months. One of the most exciting things for me about collecting these uh, wild grains for tea is to make my own tea blend. Um, you certainly do not need to be an expert to do this. It's just a case of playing around and seeing what works together. So these are some of the ingredients that we were already talking about that are now dried. So here we've got um, the fireweed, which is dry. So I'm just gonna do a little mix of things on a plate here, just to show you. So a little pinch of this. Always be generous. These um, plants tend to have less strength of flavor than you would have with traditional tea. So I would be generous with that. So a good pinch of that, so that's the fireweed. This is our hawthorn, so a good pinch of that. These are our rowan berries, which are nice and dry now as well. So we take a few of those and just kind of give them a little break up in there too. And then here I've got some calendula petals, which I've grown in my own garden. And um, these have brilliant medicinal property, but also they add a lot of beauty to your tea. So um, sometimes I add these in just to make things look beautiful. 
too. So mix these all together, break them up a little bit. The more you break them up, it'll release more of that kind of flavor in there. And then you could just put this into a teapot, but I'm actually gonna use a tea bag. So these make really beautiful gifts as well. So you can buy these beautiful unbleached um, paper tea bags online. They're not expensive. And just take your mix and you just pop it in there. So you wanna fill your tea bag up nice and full like this and pull the drawstring. And then we're gonna make a cup of tea with this. Take your cup and pop your tea bag in there and use freshly boiled water. And you wanna allow this to steep for a good few minutes. I usually leave it for at least five so you get the full strength of the flavor. Thanks for joining us on this journey to find wild ingredients to make your own tea and uh, making your own tea blend. I really hope that you go out and explore your own parks and discover new flavors for yourself. If you do, please make sure to tag Artsecta and share it on all social media.